afternoon, everybody here at KSL. I'm Dan Spindle with Sheriff Park. At this noon hour, uh, we're tracking Hurricane Helene, which is set to make landfall in North Florida, bringing a life-threatening storm surge along the Gulf Coast. To prepare for the devastation from that storm, crews with the Utah Red Cross are heading into the path right now. News specialist Kara Brecken got a chance to speak with them before they headed out. Kara? Hey, Dan Chair. Yeah, I'm hearing from Mark Ellison, and I caught him just minutes before he hopped on a plane to head out to Atlanta, Georgia, where he'd then be driving over to another area in Georgia to help out with a shelter for those impacted by the storm. To help assist with operations, whether it's setting up pots, making sure everyone gets fed, making sure all the families are accommodated. For the last two and a half years, Mark Ellison has been volunteering with the Red Cross. Each of those volunteer opportunities aiding his readiness for this moment, his first deployment. Learning, developing skills and knowledge, the yeah, uh, opportunity to actually use that to help, uh, help people. That's I'm excited about. According to the American Red Cross, Utah Red Cross volunteers are teaming up with over 350 trained disaster workers from across the U.S. to help following the hurricane's expected landfall. From supplies to vehicles and relief workers, volunteers like Ellison are going to be boots on the ground in their response. They're able to hear their stories about what's happening. Was their home damaged? Was it destroyed? Uh, why did they have to leave their home? to kind of uh, comfort them, show compassion and empathy. He says no matter your age or ability, so long as you have a heart to help, there's something for you. There's so many different roles, whether it's helping with a blood draw, draw um, blood correction, whether it's um, helping um, veterans. So there's so many different avenues they can serve in. So if they're more physically able and they want to be involved with the disaster relief team, now, four others from Utah are also heading out to help with this hurricane, so they will be boots on the ground and ready. And as far as Ellison, he says that he hopes to help out with even more deployments in the future. Now they're reporting live. I'm Kara Bracken. Back to you. So grateful to have people like him oh, willing yeah. to go out there and help the community. Uh, they're going to need a lot of help. Kara Bracken, thank you. Uh, let's focus on Helene, the storm there. It strengthened into Category 2 storm overnight, uh, prompting mandatory evacuations in communities near Tallahassee. The hurricane continues to strengthen with no signs of slowing down before making landfall. 